So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up Convex and Clerk. And I'm going to be following the Convex with Clerk uh, documentation um, that you can get from the Convex website um, and walking through the quick start. Um, and again, it's, you can follow this. And I, the reason I did this is because it, it can be a little bit hard to follow uh, from their documentation. So I'm going to show you the quickest way to get started. Uh, and if you follow this, you should have this application fully configured uh, in under you know 10 minutes or so. It's really, really pretty fast to get this set up. All right, but I'm going to be following this little, these, this documentation here. And the first thing we have to do is we need to uh, follow the quick start from, from Convex. So we have to set up our Convex project uh, and then once we do that, then we will it will it will automatically create a convex project for us in the, your dashboard. Uh, and it will also automatically going through a few steps. We'll actually even have the clerk authentication as well. So you're going to get at the end of this tutorial, you'll have a convex project, you'll have a clerk project. They'll both fully be integrated, and you should be able to see your uh, your dashboard that looks like this is actually the starting dashboard that that walkthrough has where as you click random numbers um, you can actually uh, see those rows getting added into the convex table there's a numbers table that uh, is part of that quick start so it'll show you how to set all this up so that the convex records are being stored correctly uh, and it'll also have you logged in where you can actually even see your authentication uh, user information and so forth from clerk uh, from there, so you can kind of get to uh, get to that those details uh, using uh, using Next.js as the framework for all of this. So that's what we're going to do. And so first thing I would say is go ahead and get logged into Convex. Go to the Convex dashboard. Make sure you have uh, your Convex dashboard. So to dashboard.convex.dev, um, and as well, and you can log in and then also get connected to Clerk. So you should have a Clerk dashboard as well. Um, I have a couple of different projects that I've been working on um, within here, and you, you, you'll, I'll, I'll talk through that as I go through the demo. So get logged into both Convex and Clerk, and then once we have that working, we will go ahead and set up the project and walk through everything to get it completely integrated. So the first thing we're going to do is create a folder and to put our project in. So go up to your desktop, put a folder in here, and I'm going to call this one My Clerk Convex App. All right, doesn't matter what you call it, uh, just make sure you remember the name. And then go ahead and open that up inside of your editor. I'm actually using Cursor, uh, but you can use whatever editor that you prefer. So you want to start up with an empty project folder within your either VS Code or Cursor or whatever you're whatever you're using. Okay. Once you have that, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go open up a new terminal, and uh, we're going to go ahead and cr create our Convex app. And we're going to use the template from Convex from their Quick Start. Uh, so this npm create Convex latest command will set up Convex, and Next.js uh, has everything you need to get started. Uh, or you can do it manually if you want to go through all those steps there. But this is definitely the easiest way to get started. So select that, copy that command to your clipboard, go ahead and back to your editor window, and go ahead and paste that in the terminal, and go ahead and start that up. And we'll have to answer a few questions here. So app name, just put a dots forward slash so that it doesn't create a subfolder, uh, since we're already in, inside of a subfolder to begin with. Uh, so we'll just use dot forward slash. And here's where we select what kind of application we're creating. This is actually a Next.js app router app. So we'll select that. And here's where we said that we want to use Clerk. So this is the first part of the Clerk uh, integration with Convex. When you do this, it'll actually set up enough, uh, set up the, the fundamental files there that you need to have at the starting point. Uh, and then once we have that, uh, we'll just have to make a few changes in there uh, to connect everything together, and then we'll be done. So go ahead and hit that one. Okay, let that go for a second. Uh, you'll see that it actually creates a convex folder with your schema and other files. There is an auth config file that we'll have to change. All right, and then there is also going to be a 
env local file that will get created here shortly and that will have our local environment variables we should see that come in here in a second once that's done all right let's see if we can find that all right um probably not there yet okay so we let's it's actually going to create in a second let's let's go ahead and run it and then i think we'll see that file get created so we're going to run this npm run dev okay and that will go ahead and create the convex project for us so we're going to select new project and i'm just going to leave the project name to be my clerk convex app and we're going to select the cloud deployment let that go and that will then create the connection to convex and you should immediately be connected into your convex dashboard uh, so it's important to note if you're not already logged in you may be you may be prompted to log in first uh, so that you, you might have to go through an authentication to get you into your dashboard but it should take you right into convex right into the application that you just created and you should see in here a single table uh, that's part of the, the quick start called numbers okay uh, and then you should see some settings here we'll have to come back to these settings in a moment but that's the first step is you have now a, a, an application inside of convex that we can then uh, connect into and then now we're going to go ahead and set up the rest of the authentication back to clerk all right so now that you have that running we should see here's our env local file these are some local variables there are variables that need to be there this was put in by that template okay and that is what's going to allow us this application to connect back into convex so we can authenticate all right once we have that, we, we should be able to then just either do localhost uh, with mine is running on 3001. I'll just verify the port number or just click that link there to open it up in a browser. And you should get to a starting page that has uh, a sign in, a sign up button. It's got a header control here and it's got some of the Next.js uh, fundamentals here. So we're going to use these to sign in, sign up, but we're not really ready to do this yet. We want this to actually work with Clerk, so we have to actually set up the Clerk authentication. Now, if you notice in the bottom right here, there is this option that says Clerk is in keyless mode. That's letting you know that, um, which is really a nice integration. They make it very straightforward for you to be able to go ahead and, and connect into Clerk and set up your application, just like kind of like we do with Convex. So if you click this button, um, you can claim the application that you just created. And that's simply saying, hey, look, we're going to create a new application in your clerk dashboard with whatever name that you decide to give it uh, so i'm going to say go ahead i'm going to claim this application all right and you'll see uh, i'm just going to give it the same app name just to keep it consistent so i'm going to call it my clerk convex app just same as my project doesn't matter doesn't have to but it's a little bit easier to, to find it my clerk convex app all right, go ahead and claim that application. And then you'll see it's actually going to give you a couple additional environment variables that we need to add into that env.local file. Go ahead and copy that and go back into your local.env local file here and go ahead and paste that in. Now, I'll just want to point out a couple things with this. Number one is I have auto save turned on within my editor here. So if you don't have that turned on, make sure as you're making changes, you're saving as you go or just turn on auto save and everything will get saved and deployed. Because when you start making changes to these files like this one, any file, any file changes that are made, it's gonna refresh your application and continue allowing you to kind of continue on with the integration without having to stop and restart. So you go ahead and just make sure you have that turned on. So now I have four environment variables here, two for convex and two for clerk. Okay, we're almost done. We have a couple more steps to do. Uh, but we should be a little bit closer now. Let's go back here and uh, See that now when you roll when you go back into your browser when you, that claim your applications should now Change to show you that you can resume development So again, it, it detected that we saved those changes and we're, we're connected back to clerk uh, So that's a good sign. So if you see that it says resume deployment or development, you're good to go go ahead and click resume Okay and then you should see this option let you know that you've successfully claimed that application and you can get to it from your dashboard so that's a good sign go ahead and dismiss that okay if you go into your clerk dashboard 
Um, you can get to it by just clicking on dashboard.clerk.com and you should see your application show up here. He, and you might have to refresh. Let me go ahead and refresh. I should see it here. Uh, just make sure. I got, I got a bunch of different applications, but here's the one that here's the one we're working in. My Clerk Convex app. So that's the one you want to make sure make sure that you're looking at that application within the Clerk dashboard. Okay, because again, I have a lot, and if you have a, a bunch of these, it, it can be it can be confusing with that. Okay, last step is we need to set up something called a JWT template. Okay, so here is under, if you go to your app and you go to configure and you go down to JWT templates and you select that here, you're going to see there's no templates here, but we want to click and create a new one. And you're going to come down here. Again, since we're connecting this back to Convex, we want to select the Convex JWT template. Go ahead and select that one, and it gives you all of the details about uh, the JSON Web Token claims uh, that are expected to be there for these uh, the Convex and Clerk integration. Okay, these are just expected things that you can pass. So this is what this is what Clerk is going to pass to Convex, and you have access to all of those details within the Convex side if you wanted to save it and do special things with the person who's doing the work within your application. So we have to, to do two things. We have to make sure you hit save here. Okay, go ahead and hit save. And it should take you back to the JWT templates page. Um, you should see one here called Convex. It's also important to note that it has to be named Convex. Don't change this name. So click on it. Just make sure you leave it as Convex. Okay, you don't, don't change this to anything else. It's, it's looking for that, that name uh, for the application. We have to go down to this issuer here, and this is what's going to allow us to issue those claims. And this is will this will complete the integration between Clerk and Convex. All right. So first thing is go ahead and copy this to your clipboard, this unique client issuer domain name. You want to copy that to the clipboard, and we need to add that into our our local file, and we need to do one additional thing. We need to go into this auth config ts file within con the convex folder, and we need to click on that. And this section here needs to be uncommented. So we're going to go ahead and uncomment this. Okay. And you'll notice here's that application ID. That's why I said you don't change the name, leave it as convex within that issuer, uh, that JWT template. And you notice there's this another environment variable that we need to have, which is clerk JWT issuer domain. So we need to add that to our local in the local. Go ahead and click clerk JWT issuer domain and paste in what you got from that uh, JWT template page. Make sure that that matches for your specific application. Okay. Um, copy this entire string here one more time because we're going to do one more thing with this. Copy that to the clipboard, the entire string there. And then we have to go into our convex application. All right. And this is what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and click on that one. And underneath settings, we need to go to environment variables and we need to add and paste in that same environment variable and the same domain value that we got. So this has to match as well. And go ahead and save that. Okay. Now, after you've done all of this, if you go back to your application, and I'm sorry, I was going to scroll back here. So here is my application. And I'm going to go ahead and dismiss that. Um, let me close that one. For some reason, it likes to open up multiple windows. All right. Okay, so uh, just refresh. You should see no errors. That's a good sign. So as long as you don't have any errors here, then uh, you're, you're, you're working correctly and everything we've done, you're following exactly what I'm doing. Uh, that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and try to sign in now. So click sign in. So here you're going to get the clerk authentication page. It defaults to allowing for just Google and email address directly. Uh, you can obviously can configure clerk to provide to use other third party uh, providers or authentication tools. 
Uh, but for right, but the default is to let you authenticate with Google. But if you wanted to add in GitHub or one of the other ones, um, you're free to do that. Um, but for I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave it as Google. I'm going to go ahead and click Connect with Google, and I'm going to select my Gmail account. Just continue on, continue. You're signing back to Clerk, and once you do this. It should take you back to your application and you should be now on the, the main page here and you'll notice that you should see a welcome page and it should have your, your information that it retrieved from Clerk, which it got from Google. Okay, so if you got this far, then you are golden. You have everything working correctly. Uh, if you keep adding, add a random number, just keep clicking this and it's just going to keep adding these random numbers, 8505596, it's just random numbers it's adding. Now, every time you do this, this should be pushing those values to Convex. So if you go back to your Convex dashboard and click on Data, and in your Numbers table, you just start to see those, those values uh, appear okay, that I typed in. So every time you added a value, you should start to see those appear in there. Okay, And now, so that pretty much is the main part with it. Um, if you also put a slash server at the end of your, so that's the page, that's one of the default pages they give you, hit enter on that one, then you should also see this additional page here that's showing you a protected page. And then you should only be able to get to this page if you are authenticated in. Okay, if you click, kick, um, keep clicking this button here, you can kind of see the numbers changing as I do that. Uh, and those number records are also showing up immediately in the convex database, same way. So there you have it. Now you have you have a functioning convex application that is also using authentication um, through Clerk to authenticate users into that convex database. Uh, at this point, what you could probably do is go ahead and do other things like add a header page in there. Uh, you can add uh, your login, logout, your user. Um, user controls and such that you can get from within within convex okay that's all there is to it if you have it if you gotten this far then you have a working prototype and at this point you can then continue on and adding in additional functions and uh, tables and making all the changes in here and everything you're doing uh, should be authenticated back uh, correctly okay reach out if you have any questions thanks for watching I should also point out that you should see a user button here, and I noticed for some reason uh, it's not showing up on the right hand side here, but you should see a user button there. Um, and if, it's not, if it doesn't show up, it's not the end of the world, but um, your avatar should, should pop up and you should be able to uh, sign out from here. Um, I had it, I was able to get it to show up uh, by just typing, you know, like kind of just making some changes in here. Uh, I'll research to figure out why that's happening. And if someone knows why that's happening, uh, be, please let me know. But that's a little strange. But sometimes uh, it doesn't actually show up like right here when I sign in. Uh, I sh you, you, after you sign in, you should see your avatar pop up in the right-hand side here. Uh, but for some reason, it's not showing up. Uh, so it may be a caching issue uh, of some kind, maybe something local. Um, but uh, if you do run into that, uh, what, what I did to fix it was just um, make it change. And I believe once you do that, let's see here. I just kind of did this and pasted it down here. Uh, and it, it popped up down here. Like, I, I have no idea why that's doing that. Uh, I just noticed that just now. So, uh, but if you run into that, uh, just by making a couple changes in the page, uh, it'll actually appear for you. But it should show up on the right hand side there. So, it's, it's probably something with uh, the caching uh, of, of, go, of the application itself. But just wanted to point it out because it is nice. You should be able to log log out, and you should only see this button when you're logged in. So that's another way to tell that the authentication is working correctly. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.